Hanging. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, you know there was a, a little bit of a, a, a confusion last time we spoke about this about whether it had been increased or not, and I got the final word on the answer, so I wanted to share it with you. So we're going to fly through this, and the whole purpose of this presentation is to not just keep you productive, but most importantly, to help people get the benefits of what they signed up for. You know, nothing breaks my heart more than seeing somebody cancel an IUL and or even an annuity cash out pennies on the dollar because the surrender charges aided and because somebody fed them bad information and so on and so on. <clears throat> and so I want to make sure that you get this for me as it relates to the safeguards behind and why people want to keep this <coughs> literally uh, for life. Uh, thank you for all the well wishes. Uh, as you guys, uh, some of you might know, I went through a bunch of stuff this past week and a half and uh, a couple of visits to the ERs, uh, different places, And but everything's cool, everything's stable. Uh, it has a lot to do with the COVID that I had back in the December but uh, everything is stable and that's all I could really ask for. And I'm really happy, I'm feeling much better and just taking it super easy. Uh, so if I owe anybody, any of you a call or a text back, that's that's why I've been, uh, I was dark all week. Uh, I really couldn't do much, but uh, everything is gonna be good to go. Uh, first things first, just a couple of things. For those that don't know, FFS has scheduled a summer convention. Uh, people ask me, you know, is it really gonna happen? And the answer is, I don't know but I registered for it. And because of the way they're saying, setting it up with limited seating, there's only a hundred seats available. This was as of yesterday. So I suspect we have got about 60 left. So if you intend to go, would like to go uh, register because before it sells out, you know, people every year come to me and say, hey, I didn't register. Can you get me in there? And, and this year the answer is no, because of all the stuff that they're implementing due to the pandemic. And if you don't feel comfortable, by all means don't go. I mean, you don't, you don't have to register unless you are, you know, 100% sure that if it happens, you'll go. If it, uh, and again, I, I'm with you. So if, if you don't feel comfortable, don't. But I'm worried about, because I didn't even know about this, like I said, until they told me, they called me saying that, you know, we're down to so many seats. And, uh, you know, again, either way is absolutely fine. <clears throat> but I just want people to be aware of it so that in case uh, this does take place and you want it to go, you don't find yourself with, uh, you know, you don't find yourself locked out basically because it's sold out so there's only less than 100 seats remaining available just go to the uh, website it's the banner on the front register if you want to go uh last year got canceled jumpstart and the convention they refunded the money immediately um on both of them so if it happens here again <clears throat> and you want to go you get your money back so <clears throat> that won't be a big of an issue uh, but if you do want to go register again if you don't feel comfortable by all means i'll tell you don't go i mean it's up 100 percent up to you uh you know we got a lot of things on the horizon but either way i just wanted to make you aware of that as well also next saturday is going to be a big day we're going to talk about well I, uh, first of all i want to just commend all of you that are leveraging the power of the google landing pages we've been talking about and really really thank everybody for their feedback i don't know if anybody here has started leveraging it and wants to share anything uh whether it be a business page or a recruiting page or anything any success stories from anybody uh, has anybody been doing, I mean, I know you have, but anybody that has been doing the Google landing pages we talked about and trained on, anybody want to share anything on that? Please, anybody. Everybody's muted, so please uh, make sure you unmute yourself before you uh, say anything. Javier, I've been using uh, landing pages before you even came out showing everybody how to do it. I had a whole bunch of them, and uh, they work out great because back in the day, I would want to show somebody a video and what I used to do is send them a link to uh, YouTube and then they would go to YouTube and then they would see a hundred other damn, you know, videos on there. And, yeah. you know, it was, it was confusing. So now with the, you know, with the landing page, I can put a little, a little summary in there and then I put the video and then underneath it, I put, you know, get with the person who invited you to this, uh, to this page uh, for more information, you know, where, so it's just so much, so much better and more, much more professional than me yeah. sending to YouTube. Yeah, and I think also on top of that, like I said, you can show the message very well because you can put corresponding, you know, uh, paperwork if you would have links to it or, or, or nothing. And so <clears throat> I think it is true in regards to that. I know more of you are using because you've been telling me and showing me your landing pages and they're very good. And I just wanted to commend everybody from going from zero to hero, <clears throat> meaning no prior experience with the Google pages one. And it's not the hardest thing to learn. So thank you. I appreciate that, Bob. Anybody else? Anybody else that's using them? I don't know if he's on board, but I want to ask him for his input uh, on another subject that's coming up with uh, Joel. I don't know if Joel's on board. Uh, I don't know if he's on the webinar, but we'll see. Uh, any other comments, questions, concerns, anything about the Google Pages? Any thoughts on it? Anybody? 
No, no, okay, cool. We'll just go ahead and move on. Uh, also, I just want to remind everybody that the price has gone up a little bit in regards to the actual gold package for the uh, actual certificates. Whether you're doing annual reviews, your ratio will go up dramatically because if you tell them that you're going to give them something like this at the end of their review, <clears throat> they'll show up. Uh, it, whether you're literally doing anything. We did this with the police department again two weeks ago. And we had a tremendous success, a success rate with this. And so I can't tell you how many uh, tens of thousands of dollars uh, we've made just from this part and hundreds of thousands collectively with the team, uh, whether it be an annual review. I mean, literally, because you're only paying one time and it's giving you access to unlimited vacations. You can use them for anything you want. A lot of people have asked me questions about RESPA, <clears throat> about different regulations uh, related to this. And I'm telling them the beauty about this certificates is that you can give them to people just for showing up. And that's exactly what we are doing, a show of appreciation to an existing client, fully compliant, and so on and so on. So make sure that, again, you get a hold of this. I'm not going to get into it too, too much. And I'm not going to uh, you know, talk about this because uh, I did that already. Just I can't tell you how many destinations they've added. It's I just simply use three or four. I showed you the bots on how I do it. And it just frees you up to do other things and focus on other money-making uh, activities versus sitting there and issuing these certificates. So my recommendation to everybody, automate it. Uh, also, as you know, the price is now 37 bucks. It used to be 200 bucks or whatever, or 300 bucks, 37, even though it went up a little bit and it's going to continue to go up. So, so listen to me and, and trust me on this one. You may, you got to go to marketingcertificates.com and try and do the trial. Simply click on the top green button that you see there that says start free trial or on the bottom one right in the middle of the page and you get it for seven days for free. Try it out. If you like it, keep it. If not, cancel it. It costs you nothing, but you'd be double dumb. I'm telling you right now to be running a virtual business like we are running now and not leveraging the power of these certificates. So my recommendation is to, again, make sure everybody goes to marketingcertificates.com and try, uh, just try it for free. No credit card needed and so on. And you're going to thank yourself as well. Also, next weekend is going to be a very big weekend. Uh, we're going to go the full hour, more than likely. And we're going to train on, you know, we train you on how to do a landing page. Remember, with the landing page, less is always better. It's usually just a button to invite somebody to schedule your actual meeting or whatever. Next Saturday, we're going to roll out the OMG Leads platform. It's a great platform. It only has one theme on it. It just came out this past Tuesday. My friend in Texas uh, made me aware of it. And the first person I thought of was you. And so what this one does, it simply allows you to put a more sophisticated landing page. It comes with a template, like the one that you see here. And you just simply change whatever you want to. I'm using this for the uh, church campaign. And I've got the Jerusalem video right in there. And, uh, you know, a couple of other things. What makes this one unique, what makes this one different and better is the fact that it allows you, hold on, uh, is the fact that somebody's chatting. Let's see. Oh, cool. Well, somebody just, oh, everybody just told me that his bot is working. is awesome. He just got his <clears throat> rvacation.vip. I like that. That's a nice one. And it will set you free because, again, you focus on the money-making elements of the business. And so, like I, I'm telling you on this one right here, it's very important for you to learn what I'm going to teach you next Saturday because this is a little more sophisticated. But here's the part. Here's the part that sets it apart from anything else out there. This is only for your, not high-end clients, but the ones that are going to be dealing with you or you're going to be dealing with them. <clears throat> and what that means is that when somebody registers for an event or when somebody registers for a webinar or when somebody confirms an appointment, whatever they do here, the system sends them to their text, uh, to their cell phones, a text that they have to input into the system in order to complete the reservation or the registration or whatever it is you're doing. This is high grade. So this is not something you're going to shotgun blast it online. <clears throat> That's what you do with the landing pages. This one's a lot more sophisticated. And so what it does before it, it reserves their seat, if you have a webinar or, or before they meet with you, if, if they're scheduling with, if you have a Calendly or other account, what you're going to need to do is, or, or the client's going to need to do is either A, verify who they are via text message, and then they get a text immediately they input it into the website and then it confirms their seat or whatever. <clears throat> or the same thing can be done with an email address. The same thing. They input their email, they get a, a code. You've all done it with your bank. It's the same system. Then they go back, they input that code while they're still waiting, and then it'll confirm. So this is a lot higher grade. Landing pages are low grade. We just put them out there. They're, they live forever <clears throat> and they get us business and make us money. Don't get me wrong, but it takes a lot of people. These are targeted ones. 
specific ones that you want to make sure that I, I'm telling you right now, nothing has, nothing has made me realize what's going on since my COVID uh, diagnosis to me visiting a couple of emergency rooms this past week and the urgent care and, you know, uh, primary this and that, nothing has made me, you know, appreciate my time more than this. And so there are some things that I, I, I schedule that I don't have time to play with, uh, whether it be a meeting with a teacher or whether it be anything. I mean, this could be your Calendly. They go from here to your Calendly, but they don't go there until they actually go ahead. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Somebody was just telling me about their uh, COVID. You know, one of the, I'm, I'm, on a side note that I will share with you right now, and this is just because, you know, I'm just sharing it with you. Uh, one of the things that I've learned is the, you know, with, with COVID, what it does a lot of times, if you have any underlying issues, um, it brings them or the word that all the doctors I've been to use is manifest itself. And so if you have any issues that are underlying, uh, it everything just manifests. Uh, I was watching a news report yesterday <clears throat> on Channel 7, how 20 to 30 percent of the people that have COVID go on to have lingering uh, issues, heart, lungs, this, that, all, you know, all kinds of stuff. And uh, so just take care of yourself is what I'm saying. Just because you had it and, you know, you're out of the uh, danger zone, you might not be. So just take care of yourself is all I ask. And so, like I said, thankfully, I've been uh, receiving very good medical care. But, uh, you know, uh, I may have to make some lifestyle changes and this and that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So just so you know, <clears throat> if you have had it, keep an eye on yourself. Uh, because we need everybody to be around for a long time. And so anyways, going back to what I'm telling you here is that for me, at least, it really does start with I don't have time to waste. And so what's really nice about what I'm, what I'm going to show you next Saturday is that I'm going to give you access. Now, the way it's going to work is simple and there's no exceptions. There's always people begging or whining or complaining about this, but we're going to give you access. Now, this is a sophisticated system because it has an automated an immediate verification system via text or via email, the, the choices of the uh, prospect or person on your website. And we're going to give you access to it for free. And so part of the reason my friend from Texas contacted me, <clears throat> he says, I because he knows I buy a lot of the reseller licenses and I resell it. I'm not going to sell it to you. I want to give it to you. So if you're on the webinar Saturday, you're going to get a link that's good only for Saturday and you're going to get lifetime access to the software for free. Uh, if you are not, and you miss it, you forget, no big deal. You're going to click on a link and pay 49 bucks for a lifetime uh, access as well. And that's pretty good. So my recommendation to you, I mean, free is better, I think. But even though $49 is nothing, because everybody's charging $49 a year, uh, 49 for the rest of your life, <coughs> access for life is not bad. So anyways, next Saturday, don't miss it. We're going to play with the system almost a full hour. So you can see how this is the how the template starts. More templates are coming. But you can add or delete as many things as you want to this page here. And then you hit preview. You see what it looks like. And you just simply click another button and it's published. And it's and it's going to be great because at that point, they just simply confirm. So you know you're going to be dealing with people who actually not only schedule something, but they confirm who they were via either their text. And then it goes to a different place with their text. You can text message them directly from your phone or you can email them uh, with the autoresponder. Like it says right there at the top, follow up email. You know, So they register today. And then the next day they get another one and another one, another one. And it's just an, an incredible system, starting with a thank you page immediately upon registering, which you see at the top. You can create your own or use one of the templates as well. So if you are interested in this next Saturday, uh, no exceptions. You know, people will send me emails all the time. I'm not going to be next Saturday because I'm going to be on the moon or I'm getting married or, you know, if you're getting married, reschedule it. Uh, or, you know, just simply get on it and, and work with somebody who can give you the, the link which will be good until Saturday night. And then it's a Saturday morning for that same link. <clears throat> you can pay 49 bucks for lifetime access, which is simply an incredible deal. Uh, everybody's selling it on an annual basis. I'm not doing that. I'm doing it once $49 for the rest of your life. And if you're on my webinar Saturday, you're going to get it for free for the rest of your life. Never pay, never pay. So anyways, that's that. Um, and so I want to talk about this because we spoke about this a while back and there was a lot of confusion. First of all, people had no clue what the hell I was talking about. So I hope you studied up on it. Uh, this is, pertains to California, even though every state has the exact same uh, quasi-governmental agency. It's up to you to make sure you do this. And so my recommendation to you is with your team, quiz them. You know, quiz them all the time <clears throat> to make them better. Because I think if you do that, you're going to bring out the best in, in people, not necessarily the worst. And remember, we're all brand new when we first joined the, the business. And unless we better ourselves, we're not going to know much more than anything else. So this is a scenario we spoke about last time of, uh, you know, husband passed away, uh, you know, 
woman or the widow now, you know, thinks she's taken care of because of their life insurance policies. And this really did happen only to find out that they were getting pennies on the dollar that they thought she was supposed to get uh, because of one of many, many different reasons. And today I'm just going to cover one. So what resource, if any, does she have if she's not getting what she thought she was going to uh, get? Or let's just say a company that she was with went out of business or went into receivership, which is the same thing, except that in receivership, somebody like the government is taking over the company. And uh, the downside of that, of course, is that it's going to be treated completely different than if the company had still been alive. Well, in California, we have the California Guarantee, uh, California Insurance Guarantee Association, and that's really the agency that every state has an equivalent to it, if you would that is set up to protect the consumer in case that very same thing happens. Now this happened to me, just so you know, and it happens a lot uh, here in California, thankfully not too often. I mean, we don't want it to be happening every month or every year, but it happens often enough so that you can take notice to make sure that you're not giving your uh, clients bad info. And in case it happens to you, it happened to me. Uh, I was with one insurance company, HSBC for years and then come to find out they're no longer in business, basically. Uh, but I kept seeing the logo and the name, so I thought they were. And what it was, it was just that they were simply in receivership. They keep the company name and logo, and the state was running it, <clears throat> which was very scary. And now I'm, you know, as they say, out of luck. But uh, uh, we'll talk about this, and hopefully some of you speak up here in, in a bit. Uh, and so anyways, as you can see, here's just some of the companies uh, that you can see that are in, under some form of receivership, if you would. And if you notice this, the California Guarantee Associates have statutory obligations to provide coverage for these policyholders. Some of them were liquidated back in 2000, in 1993, and they're still under receivership because the pending policies that were out there, some of them are fully prepaid and so on, or fully funded, and it can happen to anybody. So as you can see, um, release, some are rehab in re rehabilitation means they're going to make it. Uh, and then when they get released, they're back to doing business, which is kind of scary, to be honest with you. But I mean, you can see this, that this is, that's a lot of companies and a lot of names that I thought were, you know, good to go. I mean, but anyways, I'm not here for that. I'm just showing you. I have you. a question, Elvian. Go ahead. Um, is this all on the SIGA website or which website? Yes. Okay. Yes, 100%. Uh, and, and, you know, I'll go on the website right now. Uh, there's two, and I'll show you the second one right now. But yes, it's, please interrupt me with any questions, thoughts, concerns, because that's what this is really intended to be. Uh, informational, educational, and I learn as much from you as you might be learning from me. So please jump in at any time. So as you can see, a lot of them are from Kentucky, New Jersey, North Carolina. And, and so what that simply means is that they were, you know, started somewhere else, but in California, they don't have to be incorporated in California. Every life insurance company that sells in California must be part of this uh, organization or association, if you would. And so it doesn't matter where they are from, <clears throat> you know, at least there's some kind of uh, protection for consumers here in California, like there are in almost every state out there. And there's a lot. And so my recommendation to you is to educate yourself. So at least you know what you're talking about. And so here I am with the California Life and Health Insurance Guarantee Association. Uh, and, and this is the actual website that has all the information like you see at the top receiverships uh, or FAQs. So again, I'm not going to go through all these because this is you know your responsibility but, you know, don't be that agent out there that, you know, all they know how to do is recite, uh, you know, the one thing about an IUL and that's it. You got to be informed, educated, bring value to your people and your clients. Because I'm telling you, this is something that uh, if you're in the business long enough, you know, you're going to come across this once or twice minimum. And, you know, I've come across it. I was just doing research on my email yesterday and I just typed in one name, which is uh, David Gilmore. My good God, we've gone through like literally 300 major problems in my time here at FFS, major, major stuff. And I mean, I can believe it. I go, oh, no wonder I'm going crazy because, you know, this crap going on. But, you know, it's, it's part of the journey and it's part of what I, everybody here needs to know that you have to educate yourself because it's just a matter of time before you get caught up in something. And I'm telling you, because I deal with this, a good portion of my week goes to dealing with issues uh, not pertain, pertaining to me, but to the team. And, you know, I'm telling you right now, I'm in your corner. I'm going to look out for you and I'm going to do my part to defend every single one of them. I mean, we have one going on right now. I already have a couple of calls out, emails out, and, you know, we're circling the wagons. I mean, it's just a, a, a client that disgrunt, that's disgruntled because, you know, part of his uh, 43B money was used to fund an IUL and the agent of the 43B, you know, found out about it. And now, 
not the client, but the agent is telling, uh, dictating exactly what this person needs to say and do. And so in the process, they can burn our agents big time. And so I know what's going on. It's not my first rodeo. I mean, once I read it and saw it, I immediately went to certain people because I'm like, look, listen, this is exactly what's going on. And we're not about to throw the agent under the bus. I mean, we're just not going to do it. That's not an option. So I don't care how you guys fix it, fix it. I'm, I'm not saying not to fix it, but not at the expense uh, of an agent. And so anyways, we're going through that right now. Uh, we're going to wrap it up on, on Monday, but uh, it's amazing. Amazing how many things you'll go th uh, through if you are productive and you're here long enough. And so anyways, one of the most important things you'll see is when people, somebody gets a receivership notice is that they have to continue to make the premium payments. That's just it. Once they stop making the premium payments, it's a done deal. It's a wrap. They're going to lose everything basically. And they're going to fall back on a fully defaulted uh, policy. And you don't want to do that because at that point it laps and there's nothing we can do or anybody can do at that point. But here's some very, very good FAQs that everyone here, everyone here needs to understand. It talks about surrender value. It talks about uh, life insurance policies and many other things that I'm telling you, your homework is to go ahead and just, if nothing else, Google California Life and Health Guarantee, Insurance Guarantee Association and just find it, do your part and get there. Um, and so anyways, we'll come back to that right now. And like I said, this is an example of uh, my personal life example where P P Pavonia, uh, which is one of the uh, companies that I'm telling you, but I have household or HSI, uh, household and life insurance, Pavonia Life Insurance of New York, formerly First Central National Life Insurance Company of New York, have always been committed to the blah, 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 our team. And so what this is basically telling us is that it's in rehabilitation. If you look at the top, Pavonia Life Insurance Company is in rehab. Uh, and so, you know, anybody or anything that goes into rehab, obviously it's something because something's going on. Excuse me, I got to keep my throat warm and moist. So anyways, and so, and that started my journey when I saw, I was like, what the hell is that? Because I was updating my uh, binder, emergency binder, which by the way, man, if you're not leveraging the power of that, that is the hottest thing right now that people are buying. And yet we have the chance to give it away for free. What a great excuse to meet with somebody over the, over the phone or via Zoom. And this week we're releasing the updated cover. All that's different is just the cover. This week, we're releasing the new one, which is not new, just the cover is different for law enforcement. It's got the bullet holes on it, bulletproof your financial future with, this, your, your, with your you know emergency binder. I mean, it's really cool for our, our police clients, but it's not for you. Uh, first of all, you should have your own. Uh, and that's doing my binder and updating all my stuff is when I came across this. And <clears throat> when I saw this thing with Pavonia, and I was like, okay, cool. Guys, if, you, if you're in the chat, you see the one from uh, Maryland on the chat bot in the chat room, you can go ahead and go there. And like I said, make sure you're, you're educated and up to speed because when I was doing my emergency binder, I kept seeing this banner. I'm like, rehab, what the hell is rehab? Is it a, a, you know, alcohol rehab, what the hell is it? And that's just a code word for, you know, the state is, you know, running their, their, their stuff right now because of that very same reason. And so I ended up going into the different websites, like you'll see a Department of Financial Insurance and uh, Insurance and Financial Services. Um, and lo and behold, blew me the hell away because they show on a month by month basis what's going on out there. It's incredible, incredible. And so my recommendation to you is go to this website as well and see what's going on behind the scenes. I damn near fell off my chair because you know my companies were there that I was uh, holding some of the ones that I have sold it <clears throat> and to be able to do that. And that's what ended up happening, which is of course, never a good thing. And so anyways, I'm still going through this mess with the uh, Pavonia, but the point of it is, is that um, if they're in rehab, it's actually good uh, because they're, you know, or if they've been rehabilitated, they've been either sold off to somebody, somebody took care of it. A lot of stuff goes on out there and happens. So we're gonna wrap it up with this question that last, last time we did this, uh, a lot. Uh, some people were telling me that you know they thought it was a different number, and I went back and verified everything, everything, and everything was correct. So the person that I told you died on that coffin I showed you earlier. Uh, her husband had two life insurance policies and one annuity, all issued in California with the same company. So life policy one uh, or A was for half a million, five hundred thousand. Policy B was for four hundred thousand, and the annuity. Uh, was for $250,000 that they had in that thing. And so the question we asked was how much of life policy A, which is for half a million, will she actually receive if the company has gone through what we just described right now? They went 
belly up basically, and the association is now stepping in to look out for the clients. And so the question was, how much of life policy A, which was half a million, will she receive? And what, what do you guys think? Just go to the chat box, please. Let's see. Okay, we have one first one. Okay, South Carolina's website's up there as well. Thank you. But in regards to this, how much of the 500000 will she receive? Javier. Go ahead. Wouldn't it be 80% up to 300000 Okay, so 80% up to 300000 We got two fifty. Okay, somebody put 250000 Okay, well, we're taking numbers right now. So go ahead and put them in. We have two seventy five. dollars uh, Sounds like an auction. Two fifty, two seventy five, three hundred. dollars Okay, keep Keep, keep them coming. I mean, we're going to go quick through this, so please. And, and just so you know, I do this for, for your sake to make sure you know what it is. First of all, your personal sake, because this can happen to anybody. Um, okay, so to, to nobody else. I mean, we've got a million people on the webinar, and only three people have answered up. It would be 240. Okay, 30,000. Okay, 300,000. 240. Okay. Uh, all right, well, let's just go ahead and continue if nobody else is going to play along. Um, all right, let's see. So the next one is going to be, okay. So the answer is $300,000. And that, and I'll come back to that in just one second. Now, how much of life policy B, which was 400,000, will she receive? B. So type B in your answer. So I know you're not confusing with A. So just type B and then a dollar amount. Or just say it, unmute yourself. You don't have to chat, just unmute yourself. How much will she receive from policy B? B which was for $400,000, how much of that would she get for B? Nothing. Okay, we have a nothing. Okay, we have a, come on, either text, 300,000. No, okay, well, keep going. I mean, if that's what, is, is that your, uh, and remember, ideally, we don't want to guess too much because we want to make sure that we, we know the answer. Um, we have nothing, we have, okay, now we have a zero. Okay, and the answer, okay, well, let's just continue then. Cool, all right, and the answer on that one for uh, for this one, B, I'm sorry, is zero, nothing, nothing at all. And so she won't get a thing. And then the last one was the annuity. She had an annuity for 250,000. How much will she receive for the annuity? Let's see if anybody's chatting or talking. All right, well, let's just continue. Nobody wants to play along this morning. Nothing. And the answer is zero again for C. I know it said A, but it's C. It's nothing once again. Now, this is on a worst case scenario, which is why I always, 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 always recommend to my clients that if they do get uh, life insurance plus an annuity or two policies or a new IUL, I just like to break it up. And I'll share a story with you real, real quick that I saw firsthand uh, I was selling a property right after the meltdown when the meltdown was taking place and I was at the escrow office and I'll never forget this lady in tears. And what ended up having, uh, what ended up happening is she had money in her uh, bank account and she had just gotten, I believe it was 500,000 and she had just gotten uh, the money. Uh, she, she put in her bank account and, and a very smart person told her, put it into two accounts, break it down into two accounts and she didn't listen. And so she came into escrow because she was buying another property and she came in in tears. And the reason she came in in tears was because she had hit her $100,000 FDIC limit because it was all in one account and she lost $400,000 right out of the gate. And the bank that she was dealing with was First Federal, which one of the banks we dealt with and you know they were taken over by another one, but it was considered a, a bankruptcy. And so FDIC had to step in. So out of her half a million dollars, she got a whopping $100,000. And so that's something that personally I saw. Uh, and I agreed with the person that, you know, they were out of luck. Uh, and so, okay, so the question is, well, you know, what happened when the face amount is lower than 300000 which we'll cover it just right now. And so my recommendation to everybody is that if you, you know, me personally, that's why you might be wondering, why don't I have everything here at FFS? Well, first of all, I do. I have National Life. I have, you know, I have every company. But as I've gotten more and more policies, I always keep them within FFS. But those are old. Those are very, very old policies that uh, po- policies that I had. And my recommendation, of course, is that to diversify. Like anything else, you never know what can happen. 
And I don't want to go back and explain to somebody why they're getting only a, a pennies on the dollar type of situation. And I've seen it happen. And so my, you know, we got a lot of carriers. Uh, I don't know if FFS made the announcement. Like I said, I was busy being in the damn ER and a lot of stuff. I got a call from uh, Vince Rocos telling me that uh, we have a new carrier. They just came on board. I don't know if they announced it, so I'm not going to say it because they asked me not to say it, but I don't remember. I mean, like I said, I've had a little bottle of amnesia. I don't remember if FFS announced it to the field or not, so I'm not going to say anything, but we have yet another carrier. And so a lot of times people say, why so many carriers? Well, I mean, you know, diversification is very, very important for a lot of different reasons for the company, for the agents, <clears throat> and of course, most importantly, for the clients themselves as well. And so anyways, what I wanted to show you here is I have a, a this policy came out recently and it came out wrong. The amount was wrong. And so anyways, they ended up having to uh, reissue it and reprint a new policy, but I kept it. I kept a lot. I have a lot of old policies laying around all the time. <clears throat> and I want to read to you a letter that comes in every single page we give our clients. <clears throat> and that is the notice of protection under the California Life and Health Insurance Guarantee Association. Now, this is something you have to know. You have to know because if your client reads it, they're going to ask you about it. And if you are, you know, a good person, you're going to encourage them to do so. You know, don't be that agent who likes to dodge around surrender charges and, and limits and stuff like that, because I'm telling you, it's not a good thing. I always explain it to my clients like I do surrender charges. And if you see here, it talks about coverage, who's covered and so on. If you notice under life insurance, it says that they are covered for 80% of the death benefit, but not to exceed $300,000. Somebody told me on the last webinar that they thought it had gone up to four. It has not. It's been confirmed by everybody, the carriers and everything in between. It's at 300,000. 80% of the cash surrender or withdrawal value, but not to exceed 100,000. And so you have to, and I'm going to read it to you. So you, I can honestly say somebody's read it to you. It says, person's covered. Generally, an individual is covered by the association. If the insurer was a member of the association, which everybody that originates here in California, they are. And the individual lives in California at the time the insurer is determined uh, by a court to be insolvent. That's very important because if somebody lives here in California, they get a new IUL or term, and then they move to Nevada, they're not covered anymore here because they're not residents of California. Very important. Coverage is also provided to policy beneficiaries payees and assignees, whether or not they live in California. So what that means is we're talking about uh, the beneficiaries, payees, or assignees. It could be uh, trust. It could be the beneficiary doesn't have to live in California, uh, and so on and so on. And then it says there, for life insurance, we can see. But the, but here's the key part where people sometimes you know don't agree and, and argue with me about how the last two policies, you know they got nothing. It can't be so. Understand that there is also a maximum payout total. So for life insurance, 80% of the death benefit, not to exceed 300,000. So if somebody has half a million, it's gonna stop at 300,000. Very, if they have a million dollar policy, one policy, it's gonna stop at 300,000, period. If they have an IUL or anything with a cash uh, surrender, well, it's 80% of the cash surrender or withdrawal value, but not to exceed 100,000. So if they got 300,000 in cash value, they're not gonna get the three. And of course, if, you, if it's an annuity structured, 80% of the present value of annuity benefits, including net cash withdrawal and net cash surrender value, but not to exceed 250. So a quarter million for annuities, it's absolute. But if you look at the bottom, the amount, uh, the maximum amount of protection provided by the association to an individual for all life insurance annuities and structured settlement annuities is 300,000, regardless of the number of policies or contracts covering the individual. So does that make sense, guys uh, and gals? I mean, does that make sense? Uh, I need you to understand this because you don't want to be that uninformed. Yes. Okay, okay. I, mean, I just want go ahead. No, that that makes sense. Uh, it's so funny. I've been over this form, but I never read it in detail like this. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's why I say I want to read it to you. I just want to yeah. read it to you, so I know somebody read it to you, and I read it to you because. Like I said, and then I had somebody tell me otherwise. I'm like, no, it's 500. And I go, show me on, show me on the letter. I mean, you know how many times we've delivered this and we just simply yep. it's part of the package. I mean, now, now Javier, that that limit uh, is on here. That's per company, right? Correct. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and, and that is per company. And just so you know, in some of the bigger cases, this does a pretty good job because what they've done, if it's a pretty big company, they've split them up into different 
carriers as well. And so it is per company, but at the same time, the good news behind all this is that, okay, well, I'll go to it right now. And there it is. I straining the hell out of my eyes when I forgot it was bigger. Uh, and, you know, so, so my recommendation with your people, just ask them or tell them to, to read through it so they know what it is they're saying. Now, that's where, you know, dealing with companies that have been around since 1848 come into play uh, simply because of the fact that they've been around for a very long time, conservative stance. Uh, you know, some of these like National Life are mutually held companies. They're owned by the policyholders. And, and so that's where all this thing, uh, these things kick in and gives you the self-confidence that's required to be more productive and so on and so on. And so that's why I always say, look, at least once go through the history of National Life Group or whoever you're dealing with, Anico. You know, but we're talking about with Anico, uh, they were chartered back in 19. 19- Oh five. I mean, and they've been around. I mean, with with positive cash flow, excess reserves. I mean, they really literally don't know what the hell to do with all the money. I mean, I mean, if you've been to their headquarters, you know what I'm talking about—the whole Moody Gardens and the Moody this—and you know they give like a billion to the state of Texas every year just from the excess. I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable. And that's what I'm saying. That and to be honest with you, that's why I'm also hesitant to uh, deviate a lot from these companies because I'd rather have more in these than you know less in companies that I just don't know about or haven't been around long enough for me to feel as confident as they are. So the more you know about our carriers, the more confident you'll become, the more confident you become, the more productive you will be, and the more productive you are, the, your income, uh, the income you will, uh, you will generate as well. Uh, any questions from anybody about anything before we wrap it up? Uh, next Saturday is a big day. Uh, I would just say plan on being on the webinar till 45 minutes after the hour because we have to cover that uh, other platform. Uh, and again, I, I say with all the love in the world, if you miss it, don't be a cheapskate and just pay for it. Uh, I think free is better. So just be on the webinar. We're going to give you a link. The link is only good until Saturday night. And then that's uh, Sunday morning, that same link turns into a purchase page for 49 bucks for the rest of your life, which is a giveaway. I mean, it verifies and validates the phone numbers, email, but why not get it for free? Set your alarm. Don't, don't bank on me reminding you. Remind yourself, and I'm telling you, we're, I'm using that already with churches. I'm using that with police. And I'm using that for certain appointments, not all of them. <clears throat> but there's some stuff that I just don't have time to waste. Uh, like I said, we've gone through a lot. And I thank everybody for the uh, well wishes. Um, and it just simply when it rains, it pours. Last time we were in the emergency room, uh, this time it was Marcella. But uh, she's fine. You know, the, it was just turns out to be an infection. But she's, she's, she was in a lot of pain. But she's fine. I mean, it's been really, really uh, crazy. But I just think it just lets you realize, you know, just I've always, I've always said it, life is fragile and life is short. And so we have to make the most of it. Leverage technology to make your days uh, more productive and you can spend more time on the things that really, really matter to you and not deal with flakes so much. Because one of the problems I'm speaking with some of our agents, the only problem I've seen with this virtual world that we're in is that our ratios the re- are so low. I mean, the number of people actually keeping the damn appointments, the number of people doing this, the number of people, you know, it's just lower. The closing ratio is a lot lower because there's lack of personal touch. And so therefore, I just don't have time to waste. If somebody doesn't know what the hell they want, I don't want to waste my time with them. I don't want to convince them. I'm not going to sell to them. I want to encourage them to just simply make up their own mind. I want to empower them. And that's it. And if they don't want that, I don't want to deal with them, to be honest with you. And so that's why part of the reason this platform is so good. And I love it because it will help you on the recruiting side. It will keep, it will help you collect information from clients, for potential recruits, and for free, for life. Come on, let's just do that. Uh, last thing I want to do before we let it uh, is I want to give people the opportunity, Mr. Hatter, or I don't know if Daniela or George or hey, anybody. Joel, did Joel ever uh, come on board? Joel, are you there? Well, okay, well, he's not. Uh, but, uh, Okay, I'm just going to turn it over to you guys. Uh, Mr. Hatter, anything you want to start, you want to start with you? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just, um, first of all, thank you for this. Um, I think that at, at this time, that letter, um, and I didn't even know that that association had a website. So that was very, very good and informative, uh, Javier. But I, I think that, like you said, that offers uh, insurance, assurance, you know, for our clients to, you know, go over uh, that that type of stuff. And, you know, the the other thing is um, right now, it's just so important that we talk to our clients. I mean, they are uh, I mean, we're a year into this pandemic and um, people are going through different phases of it, but they're getting 
they're definitely getting more serious about their life insurance and, and their finances. So, I mean, we're literally at the right place, you know, at the right time. So, you know, I, I guess I would just encourage everybody to just touch their clients, just touch them. I mean, I'm dealing with a guy right now, uh, kind of an annual review, and uh, he wants to put an extra thousand dollars. You know, he wants to invest an extra thousand dollars now. So, you, you know, they're out there and, you know, again, we just got to talk to those people and, and take care of them more importantly, because this is important stuff. Nothing break. Thank you. Nothing breaks my heart more than seeing somebody cancel their policy right now because of fear and because they lacked information that their agent never gave them. And I had one client that I picked up from somebody else and I never met her, but she called me because she knows about me. And, and she said, I just called because I'm you know, trying to cancel it on my phone. It actually, I have her name saved as blah, 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 canceled IUL. So I know who the hell I'm talking to and what, what I'm talking to them about. So when she called me and she's like, yeah, because uh, I tried to cancel my, or I thought my uh, thing was canceled. I go, that's what I have here on my phone that you were canceled. But uh, from so-and-so, she says, no, no, but uh, I guess it didn't get canceled. But now it's just me and my kids. I don't want to leave them hanging. So I want to go ahead. And so I was on the phone with her for two hours. I explained her the options and her premium policy was 50 bucks, you know, and that was kicking her butt. And so we ended up reducing it to the minimum. And now we have the best of both worlds for her. And that's, that, that's what I mean. You reach out to them. I agree with you 110% because, you know, in their defense, that's, it's not what they do for a living. It's what we do for a living. Uh, George, anybody else wants to say anything, please. All right. Well, I'm not going to, you know, uh, make yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Go ahead. I was trying to mute myself. No, I mean, uh, I mean, this is great, but you know, again, you, you made a perfect point earlier that, even those of us that are able to talk to people online are, are finding some new challenges because of the lack of, uh, you know, not having that personal touch on there. But uh, all, all I could tell everybody else that may be struggling with the same thing, you just got to keep at it. You got to keep doing it. We will figure it out. It may take a little bit longer uh, to get somebody to make a decision, but people are reaching out. They do realize that life insurance especially right now is extremely important. Mortality has never been on uh, most people's minds and we just got to stay persistent. We got to stay on them and stay in contact. I think ultimately uh, that's going to be the key. It's how often you follow up. They always say fortune is in the follow-up. Um, and sometimes even somebody that maybe you spoke to about four months ago, that kind of you know, didn't pull the, pull the trigger. You just got to reach out and touch, touch them in some way by communication. So say communication, because there's plenty plenty of business to be had out there it, you, we just all have to be patient through these times perfect and you know i, I can agree with you more I, I think there are very few people now that haven't either experienced COVID themselves or know somebody who has experienced it and that has been a wake-up call for a lot of people and they need to, they're making the right choice by increasing their uh, insurance or by getting new policies if they don't have any and i mean the news are filled with people who passed away young healthy this that and now the family's hanging with a fundraiser. Uh, you know, I have one person that if you go to my Facebook, we're helping them raise funds. It's a, a, a teammate, but at the same time, it's, you know, indirect family, if you would, because, you know, that's the way we see each other. And the person passed away this past week and, you know, no life insurance. They're just trying to get enough to bury the guy. Never mind that he had, you know, ki young kids. And on top of that, his wife that he a widow, widow now and so on. But thank you. You're right. Anybody else before we wrap it up? Questions, comments, concerns from anybody before we wrap it up. I, um, Javier, I just want to share something that's working for me with, Please. Um, with everybody else. Um, millennials have a lot of disposable income, and I think that's an age group that we often overlook in our industry uh, because most agents work with people that are either five years older or five years younger than them. That's the, that's the age range that they tend to focus on but like I said they have a lot of disposable income because most of them are living at home they do have jobs they have very little debt they're not married they don't have children so I think it's it's an age group that like I've been focusing on them and most of my business is coming from them so I just wanted to share that with the group. Perfect and that's what we're here for to share what's working I mean we, nice to talk about what's not working but nicer to talk about what is working so thank you very much for sharing that with us um, anybody else questions comments concerns if what? not Go ahead. One question, Javier, on the, just for clarification. So if you have multiple, it, that insurance is for one individual. So if I have a policy, it'll cover me. But if my wife has a policy, that's completely separate. She correct. has the same, correct? Yes. Okay. You're Thank right. you, sir. All right. 
Well, guys, I'm not going to make this any longer. I just want to say thank you for all that you do and to go out there and understand that we got to take care of ourselves. We want to make sure we're here for a very long time. A lot of people are banking on us continuing to be here. So, you know, uh, I, I think it's important from time to time to reassess our life and, you know, find the things that we are doing that are right. And then there, we will always find something that we could do a little better and do more of that, fix it. And, you know, I'm going through that myself right now. Uh, you know, it's been a, a little hectic, if you would, from all the stuff going on in my family, my direct family, immediate family. But uh, I'm just very blessed that the 12 of us that went through COVID at the same time, um, I'm the only one that, you know, the, the news media calls it the long haulers that are having other issues. Uh, or again, like I told you, it brings issues to the surface, which it did for me. And uh, we just deal with it. We just deal with it. I'm, this, today's the first day I don't have a massive headache. Uh, I can't tell you how good it feels. I woke up just afraid to even move my head and it's not there. And so I'm like, okay, well, we're getting there. And this is going to take time. So if you need anything, text me. That's the best way. I'm not answering calls right now, but if you really need something from me, text me. That's the best way. Uh, and if it can wait, you know, just let it wait until next Saturday. But if not, text me and don't miss next Saturday. You're going to kick yourself in the butt. Uh, or you can just simply, you know, buy for 49 bucks if you forget. Uh, until then, have a great one. I want to just say thank you to everyone for all that you do. And don't ever forget that what you do here matters. Thank you.